Hi, Assalamualaikum and good day. I am Dr. Siti. Today I would like to share about how easy you can manage your literature review work with NVivo software tools. Okay, so um, please uh, subscribe my, do please like subscribe my YouTube channel for more update on the uh, tips and tricks for research work. Okay, so let's start it. So this is the journal paper. A uh, few example of the journal paper. So now I want to highlight uh, when I read something inside the journal paper. I want to highlight and um, put it aside. So in uh, and we call it um, uh, coding. So let's open all the paper. So maybe I just give three example over here. Okay, so we have one, two, three paper. And then what we do is we want to do the coding now. So I have this um, coding based on those um, uh, information, based on topic, issues, problem, methods, and also analysis and result. So first, let me highlight this one to identify, to, to drag the topic. And what is the issue from this paper? Uh, uh, to determine the uh, element of risk. Okay, so I highlight that. And what is the method that is being used? Uh, interview question. So, um, okay, we just highlight this interview question. Uh, um, arrange. So we put under method. And then what is the analysis? Um, Uh, recovery of relevant risks uh, pertaining to abandoned projects. So put it under analysis. Then for the first paper, move it, move on to the next paper. This is paper um, title, abandoned housing project. So we put under topic. So what seems to be the problem highlighted from this uh, paper? Uh, I think it's more on DBP, the mission partnership uh, as um, option for home finance scheme. So, so I might be not um, uh, accurate for this um, example or exercise, but this is just to show how it should be done. So, what will be the technique of data collection? Or oh, this is just a reviewing a paper based on uh, reviewing literature. So, uh, review of related literature as the methods, uh, the result. What have they have concluded from this? Um, DP as a house financing can help mitigate the AHP. So we highlight that as a result. So close this one, move to the next journal paper. So this is the topic. What is the uh, issue being discussed over here? A low income unable to finance the construction of their house in the urban area. So let's put it on the issue. What is the method? Uh, let's see. This is the result. What is the method used in this study? Brief history discussion. Okay, let's find the method. Okay, I've never seen. So maybe it's still doing, still I think this one, they highlight, they try to find the root cause of abandoned housing. I'm trying to find some uh, keyword on the method. Uh, root cause analysis, okay, this one. Uh, root cause analysis to diagnose failure. So the method, what is the result? We can find it in the conclusion, hopefully. Uh, Uh, model develop uh, layout 
they are out reactivating abandoned public housing project in Ghana, provide factors which way when it's adopted. So that one in the analysis. So let's see uh, what we can do from there. So for example, um, no, we want to put it on the table to see the um, to see the similarity to look at the comparison as LR metric. So what we need to do is so this is the general paper. Uh, create as cases and put OK. So all inside there. And then we want to create the table. So we just um, it's called framework matrices and the end level and our metric summary for things that we have done earlier, I have done earlier. So what will be in the row is the cases from the article. Okay, and then we have, um, we need to select for the column part, it is the matrix that we have done. So all element under the topic issue methods and analysis, I put okay, and then okay. So it's run. It's running the um, process now to capture all the information from the coding from the extraction that we done earlier. So how to summarize? Okay. So I save this file first, and then before I export the uh, table, so I put the demo. Save. And then I stop sharing this um, and we will to show you um, the output from for the table. Stop sharing. Um, so just bear with me. Uh, okay, I'm now opening the LR matrix table to show you the output from the coding from the highlight of the information that we uh, I do earlier. So so share so voila so this is um, easily being done using and vivo as you can see all the um, author over there all the things that been coded so it will be saving my time a lot to go through to compare to look at the similarities and differences from the information that i got from literature review or in this case from general paper so that's it. So if you would like to know more about NVO and how it can help you uh, to help you managing your manage your literature, uh, your research work with literature, and also for those who are using qualitative data, please um, subscribe to YouTube channel, my YouTube channel, and also you can um, like my Facebook page, PhD Dr. Research Clinic, for more tips and tricks. All right, bye bye. See you again. Until next time.